All right, welcome to the Monster Sanctuary Tournament Circuit. This is the semifinals between Yodes and Heron for the first official Tribes Tournament. I'm Flowing Jeffawup. And I'm Sphinx, your French gamer. Nice to meet you all. So it's Yodes versus Heron Crane, game one. So we have Occult versus Spirits. Yeah, so I think these are both uh, fairly aggressive teams. Yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of dodge potentially going to be going on in this game. Yeah. And it's uh, Aaron Crane who is first, who gets the first turn. So he might not start with uh, Monk as a Rage Conco since he has the first turn. Maybe we'll start with, yeah, something like uh, Frosty and Lion to get the, yeah. the full offense yeah. aggressive of play. Yeah. So I think he should be he should pick a cow because uh, there are two monsters which are weak to fire, troll and uh, and groomy, and yeah, fire claw level five. It's yeah, very no early knockout here. Mm. Good start for Heron. Yeah, and it's a smart it's a smart decision for me. Uh, I mean. Having played Groomy and Guru, I know how important it is to take down either Groomy and Guru or Guru in the first turn. Yeah, when you split the two of them up, they, they do significantly less on their own. Yeah. Okay. 17 hits. It's not that much for, for Guru. Not the best yeah, roll. Some amount of uh, debuffs going off there, but not enough to pick up a knockout with the troll. So let's see what he run is is doing. Sorry. Yeah, so we're just going to see more and more buffs going on the the line here, which Yodes is yeah. going to have to find a way to stop, or the game's going to be over pretty quickly. But a lot of armor break debuffs. A double yeah. break debuffs is really huge. So we will see if he will have uh, enough the major puts to go through the heroic defense of uh, of Lion. Yeah, it just gets stronger the more buffs on it, it has on it. So having cleanse on Grulu is certainly a, a good thing to have access to here. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Sign up his damage calcs. Doesn't look like it's gonna be. Yeah, no, I, I think it's it's not enough. Only debuffs is not enough to to deal with this kind of uh, monsters. Yes, this is a pretty bad position for Yodes to be in right now. He's already down two monsters and not able to make much of a dent at all. Mm. Yeah, because his main source of damage seems to be uh, damage over time for debuffs. And uh, he does not have like... Uh, except for Troll, he does not seem to have like a, a huge uh, finisher. To get rid yeah, of uh, annoying uh, threats such as Lion. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really any way Yodes is going to be able to turn this game around here. I think he's just yeah. too far behind at this point. And the Lion's just getting stronger every turn with age stacks and buffs. Mm. I mean, um, a way to play it maybe would have, would have been to only focus Thanatos and, uh, and Frosty by saying, okay, I can't kill Lion, I will try to kill everything except Lion. And keep him at uh, at last because Lion, without combo building, is he can still be a treff, but a bit less uh, of a treff. Yeah, and taking away all the passives that make the the buffs stronger on Frosty and Thanatos would uh, yeah. slow down the the Lion that way as well. Mm. Yeah, my mindset is like if you can't go for for the door, you have to go for the wall. Yeah, and so, sometimes it works, 
sometimes it, it does not work. <laughs> yeah. It's a risk. Yes. So that pops the Phoenix Affinity on the Racklich. Yes. Yeah, the, the trio is very scary, like Frosty, Tanatus, Lion. I mean, yeah, it, so huge Tanatus damage. is in, yes, sorry. Tanatus is in range of dying, but, uh, but he, he really wants to focus on, on Lion. <laughs> he, does not, he does not want to kill Tanatus. <laughs> um, yeah, it kills, okay. So that's cool. I'm. Uh, I mean, that's cool because uh, it seems like a closer match, and I'm quite surprised to be honest. I really did not think that uh, Thanatos was dying uh, due to debuffs. So yeah, a bit under. I underestimated a bit uh, Yon's team. And that brings Yon's down to only two monsters now, which is. Very distinct disadvantage to be at. Yeah. And the Dutch change, so. Um... It's tough to come back from that. Yeah, so the Dutch change are, are too important. I, I think for. Yeah, sorry. Going up. I think it's a tough matchup, Dutch. Uh, for for stuff like uh, Groomy Guru, who really wants attacking, because there's a dodge, you don't really want to attack too much. You prefer maybe to to play more passive, more defensive. Yeah. And to yeah, go very... for for kills. Not having access to undodgeable attacks and sure strike is sometimes a, a death sentence against the dodge spirits. Mm. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah. So that ends game one. Ended up closer in the end than it looked like it was going to be, but still, Heron comes away with it. So, Spirits versus Occult uh, this time, but now it's a reverse matchup because now it's Jons who has the Spirit team and Aaron Crane who has uh, the Occult team. So, yeah, so we we'll see some differences in the team building between the two players here. Mm. Got a changeling rather than a Thanatos on Yod's side. Yeah. As the rage makes totally sense here because he, since he gets second turn, he really wants to to have a bit of uh, let's say protection thanks to to uh, to, to to blind. Yeah, and the spirit world passive as well gives a 8% dodge to all his spirits, which is nice. Yeah. There's a lot of buffs on the uh, the occult side for Heron right now that can be stolen. Yeah, martial prowess is really good also. Yeah, it's excellent ability. Yeah. Having it on half your team is quite good. <laughs> yeah, you're sure that, that it's only always on the board when you need it. Yeah. So, so it should yeah. be a knockout here if he goes for Grummy. Yeah. Will he follow the Aaron Crane example or will he go for for the DPS and so for Jill? Like. I would 100% go for, for Groomy, I think, yeah. Oh! It was greedy! Attack there as well. It was greedy. I, I would go for Fire Close 100%. Personally. Because here you take like a massive, massive combo building and uh, yeah. And maybe uh, maybe you lose the game, yeah. Because yeah, when you keep Groomy on the board, it allows Grulu to apply debuffs more easily with uh, broken immunity and just really yeah. lets Aaron snowball a lot. Exactly. 
exactly. And you remove it removes also the blind stacks. Yeah. Because uh purification. He has uh interaction with ages. And that's the reason that as a rage is is not putting up a, a huge walk there because of uh of uh Groomy. Which is cock blocking him a bit. Yeah. It's hard to keep the blind stacks on when they just being like passively removed every turn. Yeah. Mm, oh yeah. I mean we and to be honest, we are saying okay, God's greedy, but uh playing a semi final, you have a lot of pressure. Maybe you are playing after your your walk, after your walk day. So sometimes you don't make the best decision. And being down a game already, you might feel the uh, the need to take more risks as well. Yeah. So yeah, so they are both playing really well, and I want to 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 give them some preps for that. Yeah, they both had to play very well in Swiss to get to this point at all, so... Mm. You know they're both good players with good teams at this point. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I think having lost the first match might have shaken a bit uh, Jans. Also considering that Aaron Crane is considered as one of the, the best players. Yeah, he's already got a, a tournament win under his belt at this point. Yeah. I remember having, uh, for my own match versus Aero Crane, I was a bit, uh, let's say, stressed. So <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I'm not the only one having this kind of pressure. Yeah, I got paired against him in the first round of this tournament, actually, and uh, did not win that match, which kind of put me on edge for the whole tournament. Yeah, and now you are one of the, the players that we will see on final. I don't know if the match has, has already to... been played, but... Uh... Okay, so... Maybe Sever Cut, yes. Yeah, that's enough to break the Phoenix Affinity on the Elder Gel, at least. Mm. Now we're starting to see some blind stacks stack up. Yeah. Yeah, Spirits is really, really strong. And it should be it will be really hard I think for Iron Crane to, to go for it. But uh six stacks of, of armor break on Azerage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Six stacks is huge. Yeah. Dutch can't pro can't protect you uh, <laughs> all the time. And with Azerac off the board, uh, Heron doesn't have to worry about as many blind stacks going out, which is very good when you're trying to close out a game. Yeah. Though the combat guard on Monk does make Yo's side a lot tankier than they would be normally, as long as they can get their their buffs. Yeah, but I think like now the tables have totally turned. Because even if... Okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's really good. It's very good because there are a lot of... Um, plot twists, let's say. Yeah. It's the first time that I'm seeing the matches, so... So I'm totally discovering it, and... I totally don't know who is going to win at this point. Yeah, it certainly could go either way. Yeah. So we will see. Even though at this point only has three monsters, they're they're pretty strong. They have a lot of dead chance. We, we can't see it, but I'm sure that it's about 50, maybe 50 to 60 percent dead chance here. Yeah. Losing the oh. Kanko hurt though. That's. Probably enough for Heron to wrap up this game. Yes. I don't think there's enough offensive pressure from just these two monsters. Yeah, Mok is not... Uh, he's more like a, a combo enabler than a DPS. Also, a, a Mok DPS maybe could uh, prove me wrong. 
Yeah, it's one of those monsters that can work as a DPS in a pinch, but it's really not best suited for that. But maybe GP Monk is the thing? <laughs> I should give it a try. With, uh, with my cat Zucker playing uh, GP Monk. Yeah. Yeah, one of the interesting things about Heron's teams is that all three of his tribes use Azurite. Yeah. So you really have to have a plan, especially in tribes right now, for, for Azurak with all your teams. If you can't beat it, then it puts you at a distinct disadvantage. Uh, Azurak is one of the MVP, I think. Like, I, I used it in uh, two teams. The only reason I, didn't, I did not use it uh, in my aquatic team is because it's not an aquatic monster. <laughs> but it's too good because, uh, yeah, he, he puts a lot of pressure just by himself. So, yeah, here goes the second match and the uh, third match. We have this time, we have Occult versus Reptiles. So, we will yeah. see. I really like this Reptile team from Heron. It's got some. Uh... Really nice options on it. Yes. A lot of uh, ant light synergy. And so a lot of buffs. We can see like it's already at plus five sidekick. Yeah. It's incredible. Whole team, five sidekick. A bunch of other buffs on top of that. This combo building is huge. Yeah. Yeah. And it has a lot of uh, Dutch chance as well. Yeah, and the Ninky and the Ninky Naka both match up really well into Grummy Grulu. Yeah. Well, let's see. Will he go? Yeah, he has to go full offense. And will he try to kill? Oh, he has a lot of the mage outputs. So maybe it's just that lion was too too tanky. Yeah, it's still the first game. The numbers there. Twenty-four percent on the low end is still pretty significant. Mm. Yes. And of course, all those armor break stacks. They are juicy. That's the reason that I love Groomy Girl. It's because of armor break stacks. Yeah, I mean, they build a great combo. They put a ton of armor break and other debuffs out. They just yeah. make everything better, essentially. Yeah. And uh, armor break is by far my my favorite debuff of this game. Yeah, it's, it's very, very strong. Uh, it's neutral. It's not like uh, like burn or any other debuff which is linked to an element. You can't. It, it's hard to be like uh, resistant to uh, to armor break. Yeah. Except if you are resistant to all debuffs. But if you do so, you often have like a, a huge weakness to compensate that. Yeah, like Mad Lord, which is just weak to everything else. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Big Ion Dean coming up from Grulu, not doing much damage, but building some decent combo. Yes. Will he go for blind or for poison to, to ensure to kill this as a rage? Okay, so he goes for blind. And to be honest, in this situation, I think blind is not significant. Why? Because we have a lot of sidekicks. And so, yeah. uh, it will be easy to get rid of this, uh, of this uh, stack of blind. Yeah, all their hits on average are going to get three extra hits. Yeah. With five stacks. So, so it's not like... Uh, if it was 40% blind on everything, first of all, it would be totally broken. Um, yeah, it would make a difference there, but... 
that breaks through the Phoenix Affinity and the second life of the Arachlich pretty easily. And I think that it will be really hard for for Yods at this point to to turn the table. Yeah, but he doesn't but maybe. have any offensive options left. But Stolby gives a lot of potion as the rate is weak to, to Earth. And so since he is weak to Earth, he is weak to Poison, so maybe we'll get rid of Azerage. Oh, no. Nank is down at least. Yes. Although so, now it can just bring in Drac Noir or Kongamoto, yeah. which is not going to be a drop in, in damage potential, really. Yeah. And now we have a blind team. <laughs> Don't forget your sunglasses. You will <laughs> yeah, need them. Yeah, you can on everybody with Azerac and then take advantage of that with uh, Dracomar to get even more damage at this point. Chooses not to, though. Oh, okay. It's just a boulder toss. To yeah, I, I decided uh, to finish the game. <laughs> I did not want to blind them to death. Yeah, I mean, going for the, the single target and just ensuring you get a knockout is a good way to close out yeah. the game at this point. Yeah. Especially because uh, the only problem with Reptile is that it lacks of uh, it lacks regions. It's, it lacks healing option, except for... for... what's his name? For Draconov. But except for, for Draconov... Uh, you don't have a lot of uh, good healing option to, to put uh, in Reptile, so you have a lot of blind, a lot of damage. But yeah, you can't really stall. Yeah, you can as a healer, but it's usually better doing more offensive things. Yeah. So I feel it's like. Uh... Quite the hyper offense playstyle. Even if you are still a bit defensive, uh, thanks to the dodge from the uh, blind text. And yeah, the problem of Krumi and Guru is they enable a lot of combo, but generally you you tend to build them like a bit uh, a bit tanky in order for them to not get killed so easily. And so at the end, you have uh, two walls, two beautiful walls, but uh, they do not do a lot of damages. Yeah, you really want that that third monster to pick up all your knockouts with Germany and Gruulu. When you don't have that option, it's, it's pretty rough. So here, go, here goes the last game, and so it's a 3-0 for Aaron Crane. Versus Jones. Congratulations to both players for making it yeah. this far. Yeah, thank you for watching and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed it.